All right, come on now. Let's go. Henry. They call him Hank the Tank. Yeah, Coach Yano, from the first day I met him, I fell in love with him. Here we go. Let's go, big man. Huggy bear. Huggy bear. <laughs> the reason I came to Jersey is Coach Yano. I really, really believe in his vision. Little pep in that step. I actually, I didn't have a, a clear picture in my mind of who he was, but when I first met him, it was like he was just a real guy, family guy, real welcoming, and he just made here feel home. He's a good dude, man. He knows he's doing. A great competitor, you know. He loves his guys. More importantly, he just he wants to take care of us. It's not all about winning, man. He... Guy you look up to, a guy you want to be like, you want to model your life around because he's such a, a great man and. You know, you never want to let that guy down, and you really want him to trust you, and you hope he trusts you. Because he's honest. Uh, honesty is, like, basically a part of our culture, and he's definitely represented that in the best way possible. We don't need to reinvent the wheel. We need to get really good, really, really good at very ordinary things. Really, really hands-on coaching, teaching. <laughs> Coach Yano, he's definitely a tough guy but he's loving. He cares about his players. Uh, he's gonna be hard on you just because he cares about you. There'll be new mistakes to be made today, but we can't make the same ones. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. It's, it's, it's about the players more than anything, so it's all about the players here, so that's what I like about them the most. What we need to do, fellas, we need to stick together as a family, right? We will make the world a better place. And how will we do that? We'll start by making our world a better place. You're doing that with Chop for Change. We have a very special connection where we, we talk on different levels past football and it makes talking about football easy because I can talk to someone where they understand me and I understand them as well. Good morning. Good morning. Everybody embrace your role today. Whatever it is, do it the best you can. One thing I learned from him is giving my all on every single play, never letting up. Show each other how much you care about each other by how hard you work. And he's down there the goal line. Touchdown! Every day he expects more from you. And if you make a play, he expects you to make that play 10 times better in the next day. So he houses it. Touchdown, Rutgers! I learned a lot, so I'll say the biggest thing I learned from him was being a consistent hard worker. He always is has your back with everything. And we tell them all the times, like, we work hard on the field, the results gonna come. Federal throwing it deep right for Bone. No, nope, New holds it in for the score. Touchdown, Rutgers. Uh, I learned a lot from him, actually. Like, I'm still learning a lot. Like, I wanna coach one day. So, like, I'm learning, like, little things, like how to treat your staff, how to treat people. How to be a leader, man, like, he, he always on, on me how to be a leader. Why do I put the seniors up front, the guys that are the leaders of this program? Why do I do that? You lead from where, fellas? Right. You lead from the front. You always tell me, like, people are always looking up to you. You just got to learn how to lead better. Hold each other up. Pump each other up. Don't let anybody slide. If you see somebody sliding, right away, pick them up. You know what I'm saying? Stop just doing that. Get off. He's been teaching me how to do that for sure and just becoming a, uh, becoming a real man. I learned a lot. I learned. He we talk all the time. He been teaching me how to do that for sure and just becoming a uh, becoming a real man. So, so he just teaches me a lot about being a father and growing up and handling business for my child. The main thing I learned from his family, trust and shop. So that gets you covered in life and it gets you covered in football. And you can apply it to off of the field things as well, you know, for your family. <laughs> Get over here, man. You know, it's hard to sacrifice. You know, some things you don't want to do in life, and you just got to, you know, just think about the others around you. All right, listen, listen. There's no greater love than the love you have for each other. That's what's going to fuel this victory. Look at me. Look at me. You play for the guy next to you. That's just how you live, and how you live as a man, how you live on and off the field. Shop the moment! He's a great guy. He's a genuine heart, and I love him as a football coach and a, and a person as well. You did it. I said it was going to take you. You. Wasn't gonna be somebody else, it'll be you. I, am, I can't tell you how proud I am of the way you fought today. I am so proud of you guys. Yeah.